Hello, you guys. It is baby day today. Um, today is the day of my induction. This morning, I felt a gush of fluid which I'm not sure if it was my water. My mucus plug definitely came out with it. I haven't had much leaking since, so I'm not sure if my bag just like partially tore, but I guess we'll see tonight because I'm scheduled to be induced at 8 p.m. It is currently 2 p.m. All our bags are packed. Um, I just need to shower and get my toiletries together, and then we'll be heading to the hospital at about like 7.15ish. I'm going to have my last meal. Kevin is grabbing some burgers and fries for us, which I feel like is a great last meal before they don't let me eat anything again. They're gonna put me on clear liquids. Oh so, yeah, just wanted to get this on film and start the beginning of our birth vlog. Yes. <laughs> Bye there, be a good boy, okay? We'll be right back, watch the house, okay? Got my face oils on after my shower. <laughs> so I am ready to go to the hospital. How do you feel in our last moments as a family of two? Happy. <laughs> we just checked in, just waiting for them to call us. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm still vlogging on my phone because Kevin can't find the camera. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is what happens when you bring your husband to the labor and delivery room. <laughs> I'm still on my phone, so sorry for the quality. Um, just wanted to quickly update you guys. I got admitted. Um, it took a while for them to actually bring me to the room because I guess like they're short staff and there's like a lot of patients and triage. But they did everything really quick. My IV. Um, she hooked me up to the monitor. I asked for a wireless monitor and thank goodness they had one available for me. I'm hooked up to D5LR, which is um, regular maintenance fluids with some glucose or some sugar in it, which is kind of cool because we don't use that at our hospital. We just use regular LR, um, but the sugar will help like my uterus have like some sugar and help it contract more and everything. Update, my water actually did break. I told her about the gush of fluid this morning and then they did a little swab on me and it was positive. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully my body's starting to get ready. Um, what they did do was Cytotec, which is a um, little pill that they put in me. Um, you can take it orally too, but um, it kind of works a little bit better whenever they put it like vaginally. So, so I have that in currently and I'm trying to lay down for 30 minutes to let it dissolve before I start walking around um, and bouncing on this ball. <laughs> he is already using it and having the time of his life. <laughs> it's a nice yoga ball though. And then maybe I'll do some peanutting over there. And then I'll give you guys a little tour of our room in just a second. It is 11.20 p.m. I am contracting every two minutes. I'll show you guys my strip in a second. It looks really good. It's category one. I'm contracting every two minutes, but I'm not really feeling them. But like whenever, um, I'll show you guys in a second, whenever the humps get really high, like when you get contraction humps, that's when I really feel those. So pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> So just wanted to show you guys my strip. This is what it looks like. Um, she looked really, really good. She stayed within the blue lines, which is really good. Those are my contractions, those little humps I was talking about. And you can see that they're just like going up just a little bit at a time and they're pretty, pretty close together. And this is my monitor, her heart looked great. And it's awesome that I got to be on this wireless monitor. And this is gonna be the panda warmer where they put her in after I give birth to her. It has all the essentials. That's the peanut ball I was talking about. And this is the yoga ball that Kevin was bouncing on. It was midnight and I had to do a voiceover because Kevin was fast asleep, of course. You know dad's in the delivery room. <laughs> and this is just a little tour. This is my bag of fluids running at 125. Here is the bathroom and here's the bathtub I did not end up using. I had a little shower chair in it, but yeah, this is pretty much my bathroom. And here I am. And yeah, make sure you guys ask for that wireless monitor if you guys are going into labor. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Oh, these are my carpal tunnel braces that I talked about 
um, in my last vlog, I think. <laughs> so I've been wearing these to help me sleep because my hands get so numb. It's 3 a.m. Uh, they started me on Pitocin because I am ruptured. They just started me on a little dose of two milliunits. Uh, which is usually what we do at our hospital. So I got a little bit of sleep, maybe like an hour and a half. Um, and I've been feeling like on and off contractions, just really uncomfortable, lots of pressure and like period like cramps, but like it's pretty much what I've been feeling the past like two nights. So um, nothing too bad just yet, but I bet with this Pitocin, <laughs> things are probably gonna start getting, hopefully, um, a lot more progressed. I'm getting a lot more like fluid, like pink tinge fluid, um, which indicates some cervical change is happening. So um, hopefully I am more dilated. They're gonna be checking me here in probably like another like four hours. Bouncing on the ball, long story short, <laughs> I'm trying to talk before she goes out again. Um, and my water balloon broke like a water. My, my water broke like a water balloon. It was so weird. And now the contractions are hecka intense, and I feel like I'm gonna die, so they're gonna do the epidural. It literally went, it gushed all over the floor. Like, I'm pretty sure she has zero fluid left. It's almost five in the morning, it's 4.40. And I am dreading another contraction because it's so intense right now. Ooh, I don't know how people do this naturally. Uh. It's like a documentary. <sighs> Hey guys, I took over the vlog. But literally guys, I had to step outside of the room when the epidural was being done, guys. Can you believe it? Give me that. So she was in a lot of pain, so I kind of thought she was already gonna have the baby, but... I already got that. Yeah. <sighs> but I guess that's what happens when the water breaks. Yeah, so he had to step out, um, which 
I mean, at our hospital, we usually let the dad stay. Kevin's holding the thing for me. But I don't know if Kevin got it on his camera, but it literally went from zero to 100, like so quickly. Like I was literally just bouncing on the ball. My Pitocin was at 10 milli units. Um, and then they were just like turning it up like every 20 minutes. Literally, it felt like a water balloon. Like it was so weird. Like I felt like she had punched, like she had punched me down there like really hard and you could hear it. The baby. Yeah, like you could hear the baby stuff. punched her. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? And then I was like, I'm just assuming she like kicked me really hard or something. And then all of a sudden, just like nonstop, like waterfall, like that's like the most I've ever seen on somebody. So they went from zero to like 1,000. It was so bad. And then, ooh, that pain was so bad. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling on this peanut ball. Can you show them the peanut? Peanut ball is like yellow. And it looks like, basically it looks like an exercise ball. But it's shaped like a peanut. It's shaped, like there's a yellow kind of exercise ball. And then you can put her leg on it. And then it's shaped like a peanut. Yeah, pretty cool guys. I'm feeling good now. I don't feel any of my contractions and I'm contracting about every minute, every two minutes, every one to two minutes. It's supposed to be the contraction? No, it's a baby's heart rate. Oh, this is the heart rate? Mm -hmm. This is the contractions? Mm -hmm. I don't oh, know. I was looking at the wrong thing. It was the wrong thing the whole time? Yeah, I was looking at this but when uh, you were having contractions, like her heart rate was spiking. I thought it was spiking. <laughs> <laughs> they also checked me um, and I am four centimeters. I can't believe I was dying at four centimeters, but I was. 100% <laughs> um, a face, which is how thin my cervix is. And usually whenever you're a first time parent, you thin out first and then you dilate. So I'm pretty much completely thinned out. And then now I just need to dilate. And she said, I am at a zero station, which is really good because I was at minus three, which means the baby's super high in posterior. Um, but I am at a zero station, which means baby's right up my pelvis, which is awesome. This is such a bad angle. I look like a potato. Let's do like long distance. <laughs> that is better. Hey guys. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a nap. I am taking over the vlog where I check on Bear while she naps because there's nothing that interesting about napping. So yeah guys, I'll probably get some Starbucks. I probably slept like four hours. No you didn't. You gotta, like, help me. So I got five hours so it's not that bad. The nurse would come in periodically to check on her and that would wake me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I barely woke up. <laughs> Good morning guys, update, it is 9.15 in the morning. Um, so everything went very quickly after my epidural. Epidurals work by gravity and um, I was turned to my left side almost immediately and my right side just started hurting so bad. Um, so from, I don't know, I think it was the hormones and the nausea. I just like threw up <laughs> everywhere. Um, so yeah, after I gushed everywhere and had a waterfall everywhere, um, they're making sure that there wasn't like any um, more bag that was still like not broken because sometimes just like the top of your water or your bag can break but not the bottom part they're just making sure that there wasn't like a bag between baby's head and the vaginal canal they checked me again and i was a six so i literally went from like a four to a six in like 30 minutes and overall i went from one centimeter dilated to six centimeters dilated in like less than six hours so it's been crazy. I'm so happy I got this epidural. Like it's literally a lifesaver. I am currently having some earlies on my monitor and earlies mean that the baby's like head is getting compressed with each contraction, which means I am close to being complete. Um, usually whenever I see that, my patients are like an eight, nine or 10. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm like having the shakes. That can be from like transitional hormones, from transitioning, you know, to being complete. Um, as well as having the epidural, so I don't know why I just look like I'm just like a I don't know bedridden person. <laughs> I'm just trying not to move because I got off the wireless monitor and they put back the regular monitor on me just because I'm in bed and the other monitor wasn't picking up my contractions very well. So 
I am back <laughs> on this monitor. Kevin's recording me on the actual camera. This is, I'm back on my phone. <laughs> and then wave. How do you feel? Good. About to be a dad and yeah, meet the baby. Coffee. Got some sleep. Got some yummy clear liquids. I didn't drink that juice, but I ate that popsicle. It was so good. And I ate some sugar free jello. <laughs> so it is almost baby time. I am so excited. Um, yeah, hopefully they come and check me here pretty soon and see what I am. I also wanted to say that there is um, a little bit of blood in my catheter, TMI, um, but that is also a sign that you are close to complete. So, ooh, my hormones are making me shake. So update, um, right after I finish talking to you guys, ooh, these shakes. The doctor came in and checked me and I am complete. Ooh, I have a little bit of a lip, which means a little bit of cervix, but other than that, I am 10 centimeters. Sorry that my phone is shaking so much. Whew. So I am 10 centimeters, 100% effaced, and plus one station. So I am laboring down on the peanut ball. And yeah, contractions are coming. I'm not feeling a single one of them. It's amazing. And then after a little bit, they're going to check my station again and see if I am ready to start pushing. <laughs>
saw at college and I took. <laughs> guys just wanted to give a quick little update it is still um, April 14th her little birthday we are doing some skin to skin time right now I am absolutely <laughs> exhausted I have not slept since I forgot the last time I slept um, I've been taking like 10 minute naps here and there but you know people keep coming in to do things for me and the baby um, which is so nice but yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of bonding with baby girl here and give you guys more of an update when I've slept some. Uh, but yeah, we'll be going home tomorrow, which is so exciting.